We recently uh, painted our RV and we are loving it. But when we started, um, I started with the lavender and painted both sides. Start painting, you start at the top, work your way down. And I had painted the lavender, but when it came to the front, there's a, a blue strip across the top. And so I got out the blue paint and on the front, I went on and painted the blue and the lavender. So I had finished with that. Um, and then came back and started with the yellow and I started on the door side and I had not painted much I mean I'd barely even gotten like to where the water heater is and I thought oh man I've I've gotten suntan lotion in my eyes and so I went in the house and I rinsed my eyes and they burned but but it felt better and so then I came back out and I started painting and sure enough it started burning again and so I went back in and I rinsed my eyes again and um, that that helped relieve it some and I, I waited and I felt better so I came back out and the third time it really started burning I mean I had barely gotten even down to the kitchen window at this point and it's burning and it's just itching and so I thought okay I'm gonna get a bottle of water where I can just instead of trying to cut my hand and and put water in there and and flush my eye I'm gonna go on and pour water across it and as I was doing that I thought wait a minute every time I come in the house I feel better and every time I go outside my eyes are burning and itching my nose has started dripping my mouth is dry I wonder I thought, I thought I can't be allergic to the paint because I've been painting with the lavender, I've been painting with the blue, but evidently when I came back out, sure enough, started with the yellow paint again, and I realized I'm allergic to this paint. And so I got two masks and put on and just kind of muscled through. Uh, the front there was a good wind, and um, you know, Mylena had said, well, I can paint the yellow, and I thought, no, I'll, I'll go on and get it done. And so, the second, the second day, when I got ready for the second coat, I said, I'm going to put mentholatum under my nose, I'm going to wear both masks, and then I'm going to have a fan, because you can see, this is just about the right height. I have a fan on a stand, on a, on a stool, and as I paint, I will keep that fan just blowing across so that this unseen enemy that is attacking me, um, it will just blow. It will be a buffer between me and the yellow paint. And so I started at the front of the door side and I painted about two or three feet. Then I moved the fan down, I moved the paint, and I painted about two or three feet. And I mean, it was great no problems whatsoever so then I came over to the driver's side of the RV and I was moving away from the garage and so I had my fan on the stool and I painted about two or three feet and then I moved the paint I went down and I painted about two or three feet and I started to move the paint and realized my mouth is getting really dry and my eyes are starting to feel funny and I looked and guess what I'd left the fan down at the end because I'd gotten complacent I'd gotten comfortable having that buffer between me and the yellow paint and as soon as I moved away from it those allergies started flaring up again And it really made me stop and realize, you know what? That happens so often in my Christian walk. The Bible tells us that we have an unseen enemy. It says, Satan is like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. And God is there to protect us from him. But how often do we get complacent? We get comfortable in our lives and just going along day in day out we gradually move away from that anchor who is there to buffet 
our enemy, to be that, that, that buffer between us and him. But we just move away from him. Folks, we need to make sure that we stay close to the God who loves us and wants to protect us.